Hi, I'm Rob and this is Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I've been asked to do a video on how to get to the moon and back uh, with like a, a probe. So we're going to go to the moon, collect some data and bring it back to Kerbin. Uh, I started a new career recently, so I'm probably at the stage where you've maybe only been to the moon once or twice just to fly by it. I've done the flyby mission. Uh, which is explore the moon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I sent up a, a manned capsule, flew past the moon, and then back to Kerbin in one go. Uh, I have a satellite in orbit of the moon already, in the equatorial orbit. This is the what I've got unlocked so far. Um, I'm not too fussed about aviation at the minute. Going ahead of this row, I've gone into the electrics so I can get the solar panels and the probe body here, which gives you the stability assist. And I've also unlocked the fuel ducts there, so you can feed fuel from the external tanks into the central tank. So when you ditch your external tanks, your central tank will be full. I've already built the ship, we can call it the boomerang, because we're throwing it out, gathering data, and it will come home. our target right now if we want our to increase our orbit we have to burn the opposite side of the planet so we burn here in the direction of travel and this will raise our orbit now if we did that here to get to the moon by the time we get out here the moon's going to be around here so what we want to do is we want to place the moon at three o'clock so imagine this is a clock face we'll put in the moon on three and we will begin our burn at six and what that will do is that will push our apparatus all the way up here. So by the time we get here, the moon would have moved around and we'll meet it. So if we pull on the prograde, we should see the apparatus go all the way up. And then hopefully once we reach sort of like 12 o'clock, we shall get an encounter. Oh shit. Didn't mean to do that. I'm using the mouse wheel to fine tune it. Which obviously I shouldn't be doing because I'm not doing a very good job of it. Right, you know what? We'll do it the old fashioned way. Right, so we want to encounter 408. That's fine for now. We'll just adjust it along the way. Hopefully, find that we just haven't lined things up properly. So if we move this, Hold down there. This is quite fiddly. Now what we want to do, we'll probably get to around about 100,000 above the moon's surface and then we'll collect our data from there. That'll do us. Right, so we've got a burn time of 30 seconds. Now it'll be in 6 minutes time. So burn time is 30 seconds. We're going to start the burn at T minus 15 seconds, so we've got half before, half afterwards, like I said earlier on. 
and then we'll just do a bit of time acceleration. Shit. I wouldn't worry too much about it. There we go. I say we've got plenty of. Uh, I was going to say plenty of fuel, fuel, uh, fuel then. Right, kind of need to be in the uh, screen for this bit, unfortunately. You can be more precise than me. Um, I am in a pretty lazy mood, so I'm just sort of winging it. Because we ditched the tank there and the more powerful engine, we've got a, a weaker engine which has changed our burn time a bit. Um, There's nothing to worry too much about, I wouldn't really worry about it when you're just going to the moon. Uh, Minmus is actually the easiest place to get to, it's a lot easier to get to than the moon. So if you're having trouble that's 76 will do. So the purple is what's gonna happen once we've gone past the moon. Blue line is where we are heading now. When we reach the end of the blue line and it becomes yellow, I don't know if you can see that in all that mess there, in there, uh, that's when we enter the moon's sphere of influence. Now, what we could do is we could slow ourselves down and enter orbit, or if you want to do like a fly past, you just leave it like this, and what will happen is you'll go past the moon, you'll circle it. You'll probably come around behind the moon and then you'll enter the purple part. So once you get your apps here, you do a retrograde burn and you can lower your, your um, periaps into the atmosphere. So as you'll see, when uh, we reach the end of the blue line, you'll see the blue line come around over here, I should expect. Lovely. So like I said, if we leave it, we will come off the end of the blue line here and we'll go back onto this yellow line. Uh, so you could, if you wanted to do that, if you're just doing like a quick fly past, just wait until you come onto the, uh, the yellow line, which puts you back into the Kerbin's sphere of influence. And then do a wet retrograde burn at the apoapse, which will lower your periaps into the atmosphere. That would be the way I'd do it if I was just doing a simple flyby mission. But you might want to get into orbit. In fact, that's the way I will do it, because we are going back, so it just seems a bit pointless. It seems a bit pointless um, creating an orbit. If you wanted to orbit the moon, you just create a manoeuvre node at the periaps to slow yourself down until you get the orbit that you want. And then you can fiddle with that if you wanted to. And that'd be you in orbit. And then if you was, should I do that? Which way is going to be best? Tell you what, I will, we'll enter orbit. That's what we'll do. Because the other way is just simple. I'm going to 100,000. Yeah, we've got plenty of fuel to play around with, so we'll do it the. Because uh, it will show you then how to leave the moon's orbit and go back to Kerbin, so that's probably helpful. Because the other way is just. retrograde burn when you get to the uh, Apple Apps there. Dip your periaps to probably 30 for 35,000 altitude wise. If you do it too shallow, so if you do like 45, you'll just bounce off the atmosphere. 
which I've done numerous times. Circleize or whatever we're at now. So let's wait for these two to switch. Bingo! We've got 77 and 75, it's not too bad. So now we're in orbit, we'll collect our data that we're going to come. We came here to collect, or can we? Yeah, we can. Basically, on this version I'm playing here, the red line you can see there represents the communications from the planet. So because this is an unmanned uh, probe, we need to be in constant communication, otherwise we won't be able to do anything, which is going to be an issue, actually. Or will it? We'll find out. So, let's extend these. Fiddly. Take some data. I've got 16 for that. And unsurprisingly, we are in a vacuum, so in vacuum. Right, so we've completed that part of our mission, so now we want to head on back. So you might think that, again, we just burn here, but I can't because, well, sure, AI won't have any communications, and that's not where we want to be. What we actually want to do is burn around here, because that will put us back into Kerbin's sphere of influence. So we've done half the job there, just we won't even need to use too much fuel, so yeah, it's only 221 meters per second. So you'll notice my curtain power apps here is I'm actually increased I'm, I should probably use that one. I'm using the mouse wheel, I can do it both ways. So by increasing our speed, we are powering out of the moon's sphere of influence. And I'm going to dip myself to probably about 30,000. That's a bit deep, but we'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. If we explode, you know, to do 35-ish. Right. So that's our burn that we're going to do. Now we're doing fuel-wise. We've got loads of fuel. So we're good. Okay, ready. So we've got 46 minutes, and it's a 16-second burn. Enjoy the, uh, the moon. Sunrise. Very nice. I hate landing on the moon. I always seem to make a mess of it. I say Minmus is a good place to visit. If you, when before you do moon landings, head to Minmus. It's a lot easier to get to, and it's a lot easier to land on. Oh, 
part. So there are more efficient ways to do these burns and maneuvers, but I'll just show you the, the basics and then you can figure it all out for yourself from there on in. Alright. Off we go. It's probably helpful if I do show you in the here to be honest with you. Seven. It's a bit steep, but that'll do. Do me fine. We can always adjust it on the way. So, like I said, what we've done now is we've sped up, so we're going to escape from the moon's influence, and then we'll be captured in Kerbins. So we'll watch this from the map screen because it's probably the best way of showing you. <laughs> 